Now, I have a specific question regarding Amazon. We do wholesale bundling here and wholesale bundling. I know you might not be familiar with that. Um, think subscription box, except not a subscription. We're putting gift boxes together. That's our wholesale bundle system. We're putting things like gift boxes or accessory kits, things like that, that complement some bigger brand name stuff or include brand name items within our gift baskets. So if you think of a gift box or a gift basket with multiple items inside of it from multiple yeah. brands, yeah. Okay, except my brand brand is Kristen's favorite things and I put them in boxes and sell them as cute little gifts. So a lot of people come and say, well, what about the IP for using something as I'm actually trademarked in goods and services for customized um, gift baskets. That is my company's trademark. So Kristen's that's awesome. favorite things. Um, that's not the name of it. My, my It's a proprietary, but Yes. Um, but my brand name and it, I'm I'm known under that and that's my that's how I'm trademark. It's a service of gift basketing. So when it comes to that, me and my clients are all creating these types of baskets and working with different brands. And some of them we get permission from, and some of them don't require permission to use their products. You yeah. know, we buy them wholesale, and it's we good can. For them. Yes. Um, so the the thing there that a lot of my clients have questions with is, well, how do I? How am I? making sure I'm not violating any of these trademarks when I'm doing a gift basket it might be a spa gift set. And I might use Burt's Bees um, lip gloss, but then I might be using uh, Pantene hair care. And then, so right. it's kind of this combination. And so those are the questions my clients tend to have the most of is like, how do I make sure I'm protecting myself against that when I'm putting a gift basket together? Is that a misuse of a trademark and things like that? I, I wouldn't consider that a misuse of a trademark. Um, there's a couple of, of issues here. Um, of course, the first thing you want to do is, th you know, it would be great if you could do it all wholesale, right? I presume that you would want to do it all wholesale. And if it's wholesale, as part of that, hopefully you're getting permission from the brand owner to be able to do that. So many brands want you to do that. Yeah, it's like, use this for a promotional item. Yeah, or, you know, or put this in your gift basket, please. We want you to. Now, the other thing um, that you know, if anyone's kind of doing these bundles can think about is doing exactly what you did is have your own sort of trademark on the basket or the subscription box. So for example, let's say that you offer a subscription, a, a book subscription business and in the, in the subscription, you have um, books and uh, soaps and candles and they're all different brands. Mm -hmm. So you would want to call that subscription box sort of its own name, right? To make it clear that it's not affiliated with any of those products that you have in there. Like the Burt's So I don't know if Burt's mm -hmm. beeswax makes soaps, but I'm just going to give an example here, right? So it's make, it's clear that it's, you are providing kind of the service yes. of offering this subscription box. It's not really the product itself. Um, so that would be kind of my guidance on that is making sure that you have secured your own trademark for your own, um, for your own gift basket. Yes, thank you. And thanks for confirming that because that's what I've been teaching and what I've I, I had um, <laughs> another attorney that I spoke with years back that said the very same thing that was just like having your own brand and you're representing yourself on Amazon. I am representing myself on Amazon as a gift box company and right, my right. gift box company is trademarked Kristen's favorite things and yeah. these favorite things could be food products or this products, but the whole idea is a chocolate lovers gift basket by Kristen's yeah, favorite yeah. things. And it might have Godiva and it might have um, Dove and all these different things. But the whole yeah. idea, my concept, my my brand is Kristen's favorite things boxes, you know, so that is you right can, on track. 